Hey everyone, this is Jaxa from Windows Phone Hacker, and today I'm going to show you the latest build of Windows Phone OS for the HTC HD2. Uh, this was created by XDA developers user Yuki XDA, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, who gives an enormous amount of details about the process of porting it and some useful technical information on his post to XDA developers, as well as provides a already compiled uh, ROM ready to flash with just a few steps. Um, of course, this will require having MAG LDR on your device, from what we can tell, which we already had installed. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look. All right, so you notice when you first start up, it's got sort of a creepy-looking background image to it, but it actually is quite nice because it uses the transparency technique, as you can see, to show what's behind the lock screen as you're unlocking it, which is pretty cool. And as you might notice in the video, this is... This uses sort of a different um, theme to Windows Phone 7, which we'll get to in a minute, but it actually has some pretty cool features. Now, of course, this is running the latest version of Windows Phone 7 OS, build 7392, uh, including the certificate update. And um, as you can see, this has copy and paste already, uh, all ready to go. If we head over to Bing, as you can see, we can type some text here, click on it, and then here's the copy icon which of course travels over to the um, keyboard and then we can head over to say office and go and paste that in a new document so as you can see um, this runs the latest build with copy and paste ready to go um, and as far as we can tell pretty much everything works we have the internet working alright um, of course here we are on Bing's website Uh, and this is running over Wi-Fi. And in addition to that, as far as we can tell, features such as the camera accelerometer all seem to work all right. Another cool feature is, given as this is Noto, there currently aren't any unlocking techniques available for it, but this ROM already comes pre-unlocked with a uh, prevention method to prevent it from relocking. And as you can see, we have a simple homebrew application flash, um, deployed onto the device just to sort of show that this is indeed unlocked. All right, now I want to talk about the arrow theme for a second. As you can tell, this is sort of uses a different color scheme than your regular Windows Phone 7 device would use, and that's because this ROM actually has cooked in a third option called the arrow background, which has, of course, the regular accent colors as well as a new one, cyan, which I guess the uh, developer just felt was a nice color. And what this actually does is add sort of a transparent feel to the background of different things on the device, which might be hard to see in the video, but we'll go ahead and demonstrate how this affects your notification system by turning off Wi-Fi and searching for new networks. All right, so here we have the Wi-Fi networks available message up, uh, up top. And if we open up an application, for example, the Xbox Live Hub, you can see it's actually semi-transparent and shows your application in the background. And for example, if we head over to the start menu, you can also see the applications with scroll behind it. So this is kind of useful. It makes it uh, sort of non-intrusive to have the notifications up top. So a toast notification or a new text message notification would be a little less intrusive under this cool new arrow theme. Another thing I would like to point out is the new uh, boot logo, which has changed from the uh, original DFT logo, of course, because this is a uh, different build, and now it has the HTC Quietly Brilliant logo, along with the iHeart Windows Phone uh, icons down at the bottom, which is a nice touch, and props to the developer for that. Alright, so this is altogether a very nice ROM. Not only does it include the latest copy and paste and security update, but it also includes some cool new features such as the arrow theme, as well as the fact that it's already unlocked and won't relock itself. Props to the developer for making this. We'll have a link to where you can download this over at XDA Developers, or if you're feeling like a techie, you can go ahead and assemble it yourself using the instructions provided. Thanks for watching this video, and be sure to give us a thumbs up if you liked it.